What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be taking you through some Attitude Era superstars that Mattel needs to make. I want to see elites made of these specific guys from the Attitude Era. You know, I think it was a few days ago, maybe five or so, we did a video on Ruthless Aggression superstars that I wanted to see and you guys really appreciated that video. You guys left a ton of great comments talking about guys that you wanted to see. So I figured why not go back an era, go back a few more years and enter the Attitude Era which is is probably the greatest era of wrestling. It was the boom period for wrestling, and we're going to talk about some superstars that I would like to see Mattel make. We have not yet seen any of these people made, so I think that is also a plus. And another thing that I wanted to mention is yesterday I meant to upload this video. However, my computer was broken. It, it went through some uh, some crazy stuff, so I could not upload yesterday, so I apologize for that. But we're back here today, guys. Let's get straight into my list. So the first superstar that I want to talk about, guys, is the hardcore legend himself, Steve Blackman. One of my favorite superstars from the Attitude Era. He was so underrated, guys. Totally jacked. You know, he he embodied everything that the Attitude Era was about. This guy was totally ripped up. You know, he came to the ring with nunchucks. He had just a great martial arts background. Very athletic dude. Um, it just was a great joy to watch in the ring. You know, he was very hardcore style. You know, a lot more ECW-esque. Um, with his in-ring style, but you can see these customs here. My boy Matt's is all the way on the right, you know, MBG. We got his on the far right. I don't know who made his, but his looks great. And then we have another customizers in the middle that also looks great. Would be a perfect formula for a Steve Blackman. I need to make my own, honestly, but you guys can see the Jax figure on the left. And I'm honestly surprised that we've never gotten this guy. I mean, we have seen Ken Shamrock. We've seen D'Lo Brown. And I think that it is about time to make a Steve Blackman. So before we move on, guys, I want to throw in accessories that I think that the figures should come with. So what I would suggest for Steve Blackman is I would suggest some nunchucks like my boy Matt has on the right side of the figure there, and then maybe a kendo stick. And of course, we're going to get, you know, hands for these guys because, you know, every elite comes with interchangeable hands now. We could get fists and open hands for his accessories. The next guy that I would like to see Mattel make, guys, is Val Venus, another mid-card type of guy that was from the Attitude Era. You can see here in his purple and silver trunks. You have a Jax Deluxe Aggression figure on the left. I can't, I don't know if that's a custom or if that's legit. I believe it's legit with some custom uh, stuff thrown on there, but it is a very nice uh, Jax custom there. In the middle, you can see what it would look like if Mattel were to make one. That's a very nice custom Val Venus Elite made by a guy that sells great customs on eBay. I don't know his name, but uh, he is an excellent customizer. And then on the right, you can see the Jax figure, um, a different Jax figure with his accessories there. And another guy I just think that Mattel could easily have made by now is Val Venus. I think that it would be cool to have a cloth towel that you could, you know, Velcro around his waist. That is something that he used to do. And um, I think this would be another great guy. I mean, it's kind of crazy. All of the figures they have made, they have never made a Val Venus or a Steve Blackman to this point. I don't know what the deal is on that. But um, I think that a cloth towel and possibly a championship title would be perfect for Val Venus. And I would love to see him made. The next superstar that we're going to mention, guys, is Grandmaster Sexay. You can see here on the left a beautiful Grandmaster Sexay custom by Brock Locke. He used the Evanborn head. Uh, great formula for this guy. I think that the accessories that the Jax figure comes with on the right is a perfect amount and a perfect, you know, set of accessories for him. We have his other two members of his tag team. We have Scotty Tuhati and we have Rikishi made in Mattel form. So we definitely need to complete the trio. Give us a Grandmaster Sexay. I think they actually have, like, problems with his rights. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I do know that he recently just passed away, so I don't know, you know, what the deal is there. They could possibly throw him in there, um, but I don't know what the situation is, but he could, you know, come with his beanie hat, his glasses, his necklace, his entrance vest, and, you know, his elbow pads, and then, of course, interchangeable hands, and that would be great. I would love to see them actually throw this in to complete our, you know, uh, our too cool for uh, Scotty Tuhati and Rikishi. So I definitely think that this is a must-have, and hopefully Mattel will pump him out soon enough. Next, we have another superstar in Test, guys. He is another guy that I would love to see made. You have a beautiful custom by Frakies on the right. Frakies Legends, absolute amazing, underrated customizer. He has an Instagram page and an eBay page where he sells endless WWE figures and accessories that are for great prices, guys. So definitely go look that up on eBay. But um, we have this Test figure here. His custom is a perfect rendition of uh, Test. At a certain point in his career, he was so freaking tall, guys. He was so massive and tall. And um, I used to call him. I used to call Big Cass. 
Glass Test 2.0 because he reminded me of it. Just a big guy, low, low burning around inside the ring there. But um, I would love to see a Test figure made. You know, I, I grew up watching Test as part of my childhood. So I would like to see Test. I would love to, you know, get him in here and set up the Attitude Era collection. And you can't have that without Test. You know, he, he got involved with Triple H and the McMahon family. And he, he had some good runs there, um, you know, bouncing around in the mid-card and stuff. So I think the Test would be a wonderful figure to see. And I would love to see how Mattel could pull it off. Next up, guys, we have everyone's favorite from the brood. We have Gangrel, the vampire-turned-wrestler here with a custom Mattel Elite Gangrel on the left made by the NWF. Very, very talented customizer on Instagram. And then on the right, we have a Jax figure, and you guys can just see this guy would be so cool. He could come with a goblet. He could come with a cross necklace. He could come with a removable cloth shirt, as you can see there. They've actually done similar molds with the Nasty Boy figures, as you can see on his boots. And I think that the parts are there. I just don't know what they would do for a head scan. I mean, I don't know, it, like, if they would have to take a jack scan, just fully sculpt a new one, you know, with the true effects and everything. I don't know how they'd do it. But Gangrel would be very interesting to see. Um, I, I haven't, it's very hard to make. Like, you can see the NWF did a great job on it. But besides his, I don't think I've ever seen anyone be able to even capture close to the Gangrel likeness because it's such a difficult custom to make with the parts out there from Mattel. But he did a wonderful job on it, and I would love to see Gangrel made. You know, maybe they could do um, Christian and Edge from the Brood. Even the, the Hardy Boys, they could even do all of them that, you know, when they were in the Brood. But uh, Gangrel is definitely a must-have in the Attitude Era on my list. Next up, guys, we have one of my favorite Attitude Era wrestlers. Again, we have Al Snow right here. And this is a fantastic custom right here, guys. This is an incredible custom made by Angel. Uh, and he is a very talented... He, he's the one that makes all of Gennady's customs, I do believe. You can see the Jax figure on the right. I mean, they, they totally nailed this. I would love to see Al Snow, another guy that just embodied what the Attitude Era was about, running around with a hardcore title. He had plenty of great classics um, in hardcore style matches in the Attitude Era, running around with a hardcore title. You know, he ran around with head you know, his uh, little mannequin head, and he was sort of like insane, and you know, he's part of the job squad. It's just a great gimmick, and he pulled it off so well. I think Al Snow is so cool, and like, if you go back and you look at interviews with this guy, he's just a very down-to-earth dude, and I could listen to him talk all the time. He's a very knowledgeable guy, great eye and mind for the business, and I would love to see Al Snow. I think that it is definitely, I need to actually get this made. If we don't get one from Mattel, I got to get a custom made. I like Al Snow, and who knows, he may appear, you know, for the Extreme Championship one day on MDT live. Up next, guys, we have our first tag team on here as a duo set, and that is the Acolytes. We have Farouk and Bradshaw. Before they were the APA guys, they were the Acolytes, and um, I like them as the Acolytes. I thought they were a great tag team even before the APA. They were running around killing it, and um, I think these will be very easy to make. You know, we've gotten three or four Farouks already, and we have gotten two or three JBLs before. So, I mean, I think it'd be a very simple thing to do, and I'm sure we'll get them in the future um, if they would stop doing all the current guys it seems like they have discontinued flashbacks the last few sets we barely got any flashbacks so um hopefully we'll get back to the flashback figures and we'll get some attitude error guys and i think the acolytes would be perfect for that um you can see these perfect customs here i don't know who made these but they did a wonderful job all you got to do is replace the head scan with an actual bradshaw head scan and you would be perfect um for the acolytes so these are two guys that i would love to see from mattel Next up, guys, we have an actual women's figure. We have the legendary China. We have China here from Degeneration X and running around with Triple H. And these two figures on the left, the one that's in the center of your screen and the one on the left, they may be the same figure. I think they are the same figure, but they're two different photos, maybe. Um, they could be different, but I'm pretty sure they're the same figure. I mean, they look identical if they're not. But those are perfect renditions of China. I think these two may be two of the best custom figures as far as women go. Um, is the best I've ever seen because this these head scans I don't know I think it's a repainted Jax but um, they, it's so good because the Jax China head scans were not good at all guys and so the way that they repainted these look amazing I think that these are two perfect China figures and I think that you know since she you know recently passed away not too long ago um, she needs to be inducted into the Hall of Fame to be honest with you I know she had some controversial things going on um, with her career after WWE. But um, I think that it would be right for Mattel to create a China figure. I don't think they have the rights because it's just another thing why they haven't really made any China merch or anything in the past is why WWE, you know, they, they don't have her on contract. They don't have a Legends deal. And I think it would pro they'd probably have to do all kinds of things just in order to make a China. I'm sure they'd have to go through leaps and bounds and mountains 
just to get this figure made. It's a lot like, you know, some other controversial people in the past. Not like quite as controversial as, you know, Chris Benoit or something, but um, she is probably, you know, down the tier. Even though what she did and what Chris Benoit did are, you know, nothing alike, but... Um, I think that uh, they just want to keep that image out of, out of the company or something, but I think that China is something that I would love to see made. I think that they could do some wonders. They may have to, you know, upgrade the women's body mold. You know, they'd have to make their own body mold because she was absolutely jacked, guys. She was literally like a male a male's build, uh, but these custom figures are incredible. You know, the same thing they did with Nia Jax. I mean, Nia Jax has her own, you know, women's body mold, so they could easily do the same thing for China if they wanted to. And um, I would just love to see it. I think that these are two perfect customs that, you know, can show what Mattel could possibly do if they were to make a China. But, you know, she could include the Women's Championship and the Intercontinental Championship if they were to do an Elite. If they were just going to do a Basic, then the figure would probably suck because most Basics are awful nowadays with, you know, all the subtracted articulation. But that pretty much does it for all of the figures that uh, I want to see from the Attitude Era. I may do a Part 2. It honestly just depends, you know, how uh, what you guys think and if you guys want to see a part two. I also want to do another Ruthless Aggression Era. Let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like me to keep going backwards and backwards, and then if you want me to do, you know, future elite lines. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below if I didn't mention an Attitude, Attitude Era superstar that you would like to see Mattel make. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to talk with you guys about, you know, who you would like to see in the future or some guys from the past that you would like to see, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.